See, like it says Aerial Life, so I always like wanted my own brand. When I first created this, um, this is from a supplier. I was 13 years old. Yes, I was 13 years old. For some reason, selling makeup did not work out for me. And the reason why, around that time, it did not work out for me. The reason why it didn't work out because my brain wasn't, I want to say wasn't mature yet to what I needed to do. Like, I didn't do the right research. I just figured like, hey, I have like 3,000 followers, 2,000 followers, however much followers I have. I just thought that they would support me because this was like something big. Like, I got my name on it. It's mine. Like people know me they're gonna buy from me uh, 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 whatever the case was so that failed horribly right crazy that was the first um i want to say establishment that i took like serious i took this serious and i took um clo clothing clothes because anybody know that knows me know i love fashion and i just I even wanted to be a fashion designer. I taught myself how to sew and everything. And I wanted to master that craft so I could build a name for myself, but even that didn't work. At this point, your girl was wondering like, damn, why am I not like succeeding at anything that I try? Like, it became to a point like, I was really low, like I was having low self-esteem. Um, I just really thought like I was supposed to work under somebody for the rest of my life and that's not what I wanted because I grew up like watching my mom be her own boss and that's what I wanted for myself. I wanted to be my own boss but it just seemed like that dream wasn't there and it was scary for me. So um, when all of those business adventures just didn't go the way that I planned, I wouldn't say fell. Because yes, I had like a little sell here and there, but like after like two weeks, I would get one sell. Like after a month, I'll have a total of three sales. So it didn't go out the way that I would like it to. So I would always like stop and then try something new because I just always had that in my head. Like maybe this is not for me. Let me try this. Let me try that. I was never somebody that stays stuck on one thing. Don't get me wrong, there are people who are passionate about one thing and they go after that thing until they succeed. And I give props to those people. But that happened to not be me. So, 
And that's with everything, with clubs that I've tried, da da da, -da with programs, with camps, with anything, you name it. Like, if I see it's not, like, benefiting me, I don't stay for long. The only thing that I stayed in was cheerleading because I obviously love cheerleading. So whatever makes me happy, I stay. That being said, um, those adventures did not work out. So um, I came back from New York. Basically, I had this mindset that, um, listen, I need to do for me. Like I want to build my own. I want to have a name to something. I want to do something that's valuable, that benefits, you know, me and I make people happy. So, I wanted to become a YouTuber. So, for, for those of you guys who watch my old videos and you guys are looking at the now videos, you guys can see that I definitely came a long way. And I'm going to tell you how and why I came a long way. So when I started YouTube, I, I okay, I want to say yes, I started YouTube the right way because I wanted to get monetized fast. And the quickest way that I got monetized was by um, creating a lyric video. If you guys go check out my old videos, you guys can see that I used to make lyric videos. I dropped um, like about three or four lyric videos and like this, I got over, um, Around that time, you needed 10,000 views to get monetized. It's different now. I don't know what you mean now. I think about 4,000 watch time and 1,000 subscribers. But around that time, you just needed 10,000 views and then boom, you get monetized. So I hurry up and make a lyric video to the latest trending song and boom, I got monetized. So that I did right. So I give myself props. Where I messed up at is... I did not establish myself first so that's that's number one right there I did not establish myself first so um I think around that time on Instagram I had 5,000 followers or something like that and that didn't help at all like I don't know my followers just watch it wasn't watching my videos and I had to understand why I then got hungry into knowing how to become Instagram famous. Now, I wouldn't say that I'm Instagram famous. I would just say that um, when I do post, um, it do reach a lot of people. Only because, like, it's three steps that you have to follow. Alright, here we go. First step. Anything that you post that you see that your followers like, that's number one post what your followers like to see like I noticed that my followers like they would like more stand-up pictures with my outfits and stuff rather than me sitting down taking a selfie so I cut off selfies and I just like strictly made it like an outfit thing like a fashion theme thing going on I cut that off and I made it like an outfit thing and yes I gained more followers by doing that and more likes and comments so i know that i knew what my followers like to see and i continue on doing that now the second thing that you also want to be knowledgeable about is when to post my times are around 12 p.m 3 p.m and 6 p.m that is for my personal and so i I would consist consistently post at that time and when I tell you like the likes was like unbelievable I was like oh my god why didn't I not know this before I'm telling you guys research is the number one key for starting anything that you want to establish so I did that that work wonders the third thing is hashtags use hashtags if you see something is about to go viral, use hashtags. Now, when I first started like um, taking my Instagram seriously, um, I wasn't using hashtags. Cause basically I was, I was trying to see first 
what would get like the most likes on my Instagram. So I would always like test each picture that I dropped to see what would get like the most likes. When I know that, that is when um, I started playing around with different hashtags to see what suits me, what um, would bring me to the top of the hashtag page, all of that. You name it, I did all of that research. Now, when it comes to hashtags, I can't physically tell you what hashtag you should use because like I said before, I had to find hashtags that suits me. Because everybody's different people might be into my outfits but but people might be into how you style your hair or people might be into how this girl does her makeup so it's different hashtags for different stuff so once I know those three factors that I needed to have my um, personal page jumping then I pretty much use that for every social media account that I have. And when I tell you that is what made me like, I don't wanna say blow up, but yeah, I guess you could say blow up. Cause I feel like I'm not there yet, but I, it's, it's definitely getting there. Like I see it now, it's moving so fast. Like I don't even know what to even do with myself, but that's what pretty much started everything for me. So, there you have it. The first one that we just, what should we call it? The first session of starting a business? Yes, is to establish yourself. So after you pretty much establish yourself, then you turn your followers into buyers. Now, let me go back to the first thing, which was establishing yourself. You cannot have I don't know I've never seen this comment down below if I'm wrong um, you cannot have 200 followers and then you open a business account let's say it's me lashes you open a business account and you expect to get sales no that is not how it works that is why I said you have to establish yourself once you know how to work your social media following following those three steps that I just told you then you can move along to now turning your followers into buyers so you have to have to like establish yourself meaning gaining followers gaining interactions getting people to acknowledge that wow this person might blow up i i like i want to see her i want to follow her like basically being an influencer once you got that down packed, then you could go along to number two, turning your followers into buyers. That was the most toughest, I want to say toughest thing for me because pretty much after I uh, established myself, now I could move along to step number two. But the hardest thing was figuring out what should I sell. Like I said, like I told you guys before, I've sold a whole bunch of stuff during my lifetime. And now like I was at a point where damn what can I sell? Like damn, damn. This was like easy. Like it was right there in my head, but I was just so far from it. Like, I wasn't even, like, looking what was right in front of me because I was just so busy thinking about other things that I could sell, and it was right in front of me. Most of you guys know that on all my social media platforms, what do I do? Makeup tutorial. So once, I've, once I finally, like, see, like, oh, my God, it's right in front of my face. I need to, like, makeup, and this is something that I love to do makeup all right now the thing is i was like oh my gosh should i sell one thing should i sell like a whole makeup line should i do this should i do that girl was stuck <laughs> honestly um when i started this lip gloss company it was supposed to be something like 
yes it will still be like makeup related and I, as i told you guys before i was supposed to drop it for this summer but i want to save it for another time as i told you guys before um it was something else that i was supposed to come out with and it was still makeup related so i had to test my followers to see what they were into like like what I know, watch my makeup videos, what did they ask for, what did they ask that I was using, da 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 da, and it was one video, if I find it on my TikTok, I'll show you guys, it's one video, I'll put it right here somewhere, it's one video you guys kept asking what lip gloss am I using? Like, you guys always ask that, like, what lip gloss was I using? And that is honestly a lip gloss that I made. But it was for fun. It wasn't, like, something serious. And I noticed I never responded to that. I'm like, oh, my God, why didn't I respond to that? So, I made a video. Put it right here. I made a video basically showing me make... I made a video showing me making fairy dust. This is where fairy dust came in. Oh my god. Fairy dust came in. When I tell you everybody went crazy over that video, everybody went crazy. Now this is around the time like I just made that video for fun. I was just like, Oh, what's it? What's that called? A Zacto knife? Something like that. Yeah, I got dragged for that, girl. And this was like something I was just testing out. I got dragged. <laughs> it's cool. Your girl is learning. So, after I seen that went crazy, I knew something. Mm -hmm. I knew something after that. My mama told me. Once you find your niche, girl, you better run so fast and don't even look back. That is exactly what I did. Now, the project that I was working on at the time, I didn't even release, like I told you guys just now. I took the lip gloss tubes that I was supposed to use for that project and I just showed the world like, okay, you guys like the gloss? Let me show you the containers that it comes in. Like, let me show you the tubes that we have. This is the My Crush tube. Let me show you this little cute tube that we have. Showed you guys that. I made a, a, a business account on IG. 700 followers within a day. 700 followers within a day. Which let me know, like, this was my niche. Girl, you better run. Mind you, I didn't even have a website yet. So I was telling people, oh, you can PayPal, Cash App, da 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 And some people like were so close to doing it and I was like, no, never mind. I'm gonna hurry up and make a website. So this is the second session. It's turning your followers into buyers, which I had already did. Turning your followers into buyers, meaning finding out what they like about you that you could sell. Mine was lip gloss. So after I did that, step number three. You got to be very, very, very professional when it comes to these things. Because you don't want people to look at you like PayPal, Cash App. <laughs> Me typing it to them, I was like... That's not like the right way to do business website you must have a website I just feel like doing business through PayPal and cash app is not trustworthy for the customer there's no policies that they could read there's like they they don't get to see the product for real like a website like caters to showing them the product telling them more about it why they should buy it it shows them policies contact emails all of that just makes you look more professional so once you got your website that's step, step number three step number four is giving out great content 
What do I mean about giving out great content? Funny that you ask. I'm gonna show you right here. So pictures like this, videos like this, is great content. You have to be very, what's the word? Creative when it comes to displaying content. Now, the content is lighting. Right now, I have a diva ring light, which makes it like the room brighter, makes it the camera quality better. Lighting, you have to have iPhone 7 and up. <laughs> I'm sorry for the Android users. iPhone 7 and up, hunty, please. When you're doing these videos and you want to show the world what you have, we like to look at nice things. I like to, well, I like to look at nice things. I don't like to see like, uh, it has like, like it's fuzzy and mm -mm. lighting, great camera quality, all of that. Great music. I pay attention to all of that and I do not like long videos. I'm speaking for myself. I like to make it short and sweet so that the person just wanna watch it over and over again. So once you have that, great content and all of that stuff, you are going to use the factors that I told you in session one, establishing yourself. The first one, was finding out what your customer wants to see more. Mine was mixing videos, so guess what I did? I kept showing the mixing videos. So that's what you do, you figure out what they wanna see more. Second, great quality camera. If it's videos that they like to see more, then you do videos. If it's pictures, then you do pictures. The third one is hashtags. Once you use all three of those, history will repeat itself. Because once, okay, this is how I like to look at it. This, the same steps you took for yourself will be the same steps you took for your business account. You're wondering why I'm saying that. I say that because your business is like your baby, okay? You have to crawl before you walk. Like a lot of people start businesses, well, I, I won't say that. A lot of people are like, are very well established that they don't even have to, like they could promote their business one time and they get followers like this. They could post it, once every two weeks on their personal and they get followers like this. Those are people that, that are very, very established. Now for people like me, you, probably why you're watching this video, the same steps you took to establish yourself is the same steps you need to take to establish your business. Because whether some people like to believe it or not, your followers, like 90% 90, 90 of your followers won't follow your business account. So guess what? Now you gotta pull in strangers. Now these strangers know nothing about you because what? You haven't established your business. Meaning those three, those three factors that I just told you to do, if you don't do those three factors, nobody know who you are and you will always get bypassed. Every time somebody will come to your page, it will click right off. You need to establish your business account. Bio filled out, logo on point, like it needs to be established. Hashtag to the T. Like, once people see that your business is established, then you are on your way, my friend. You are very much on your way. But keep in mind, I said you have to establish yourself first. Like, 
you can't make a account out of nowhere and nobody know who like who you are but i know a lot of like companies lip gloss companies that that never show their face and they just made their account from scratch guess what they still had to establish that business first they still had to establish that business first but if you're looking into like wanting people to know who you are and stuff then you have to establish yourself first and then establish your business but some people don't care it's for people to know who they are they just you know they cater to their company i want to be versatile i just want to create great content on youtube and establish myself as a as ceo of a real life beauty the first session was establishing yourself the second session was turning your followers into buyers and the third was repeating those two steps i hope this video um helped a lot of you guys and encourage you guys to keep striving and going after what you want i hope that i would this was a great testimony for you guys to never give up and i have more videos coming on the way continue to follow my personal account and my business account and all of them things without further ado your girl is out give this video a like comment and subscribe and turn on that notification post it's a notification post girl i don't know anyways your girl is out Thank <laughs> you.